Now, the next question. Mm -hmm. If you could change one thing about less, and I mean less and the overloaded uh, meaning of the word here to mean everything around less, what would be the one thing you could change if you had a magic one? Yeah, the one thing I want to change, actually, and this is, it became much more important over the last two years, I guess, is I would love to change the rule for on-site collaboration. Yeah, I mean, the the pandemic changed the rules of the game a bit, you know, and it's sometimes just impossible to be in the same room or not safe or probably sometimes even not required because I think what the pandemic told us is that on-site collaboration is very important for our certain tasks, yeah, but for other tasks, it's absolutely unnecessary to be in the same room, you know. And you know, if you do a cost, uh, a co um, cost and benefit calculation behind uh, being in the same room, that means traveling, you know, and also the the economic uh, impacts you have, the uh, all the impacts which could occur because you're sitting on a plane and going from I don't know Vienna to London or something like that. Is the cost benefit ratio then positive or negative? You know, and I think that needs to be taken into consideration if we talk about on-site collaboration and that's the best thing. It's not the best thing for everything. There is nothing in the world which is like a silver bullet for everything. It doesn't exist. There's not one medicine for ever for the cure of every disease. It, you have to, to to be aware of the situation. You have to be aware of the requirements of your surrounding, of your boundaries, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And like I said, for certain activities and tasks, on-site collaboration is the best way of doing it. For others, it's even worse than being not co-located. Yeah. And I think that's why I would like to change this rule because it shouldn't be a rule. It should be a recommendation, but for certain aspects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting because then the rules are the rules, just recommendations anyway. Should should it be a guide rather than a rule? I don't know. I I, I agree though that I think with the you know, when people see rules, they see it as prescriptions, something that they mm -hmm. should do. And I think there's probably other less rules that people could get really excited mm -hmm. about in in addition to that. But but because of what's happened over the last couple of years of the pandemic. The co-location one has got a lot of mm -hmm. attention, and I think yeah, we have to accept that. And, and you're, you're absolutely correct. I thought there was some stuff where it is much mm. more effective. I was doing some work yesterday with a guy called Frederick. Yeah. I think. Um, he's probably watching his thinking, watching or listening to his thinking. Mm. Yesterday, this was months ago. We spoke about this, but this is we're recording this <laughs> in March. Me and Frederick were talking about modes of interaction. Mm -hmm. And we were saying, well, there's collaboration where, generally speaking, unless unless you've got brilliantly strong relationships, it's always going to be nicer and probably more enjoyable and effective mm. face to face. Then you've got uh, cooperation, which you know, it's good to do face to face, but maybe you could cooperate. <laughs> Go on. <laughs>